WKY Weather with John Belsky. All right, uh, let's uh, cool you off here just a little bit. This is, of course, pretty far north up in Alberta, Lake Louise, which is, I, I believe, near Banff. And uh, pretty good snow in the higher elevations today, but also in the lower elevations, uh, they had a bit of snow on the ground. Looks like a, an inch or two of the wet snow there, but that's way up there. But, you know, we're getting late into August here, and I know I've seen, uh, you know, Denver area. They, they have had snow first week of September before, so... It's almost that time of year. Here, I think our average date of our first snow in Louisville is uh, December 5th, so long way to go to get that. We had uh, several sightings across Kentucky, various areas of Kentucky today. Uh, this, a lot of people like to call this the fire rainbow. It's actually a cloud. It's the sunlight sh shining through these cirrus clouds, and it's called a, a circumhorizontal arc cloud, and uh, that's what it looks like there. It's very pretty, uh, even a few spotted around the Louisville area this evening. Here's the latest on Hurricane Danny, just churning along westward out in the Atlantic. Major hurricane, 115 mile per hour winds. The good news is it's going to run into some stronger winds aloft. And what these do, they kind of tear these uh, storms that are part of the hurricane apart and weakens the storm pretty rapidly. So uh, the latest forecast have it in the Virgin Islands on Monday at 65 miles per hour. Puerto Rico Tuesday, 60 mile per hour winds, which is still strong enough to cause some damage and some flooding problems. And then moving into Dominican Republic and Haiti on Wednesday with 40 mile per hour winds. Still no threat to the U.S. on that. Uh, here's your threat to the U.S. from uh, Kilo, which is expected to reach 100 miles per hour next Wednesday and possibly head toward uh, the island of Kauai, which is the Garden Isle. So uh, they're watching that closely out there. Back home, we're at 74 uh, in the city here right now. Our high today, 81, a low 61. A lot of 80s with a few 90s in the east. Uh, look at these 90s out here. Pierce, South Dakota, 93. Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, 90. And Denver, 93. And I point that out. This uh, core of warmer air or hotter air uh, is ahead of the next cold front and will kind of be building into the Ohio Valley on Sunday before this next front uh, pushes in. So that will be our hottest day coming up. Pretty quiet over much of the eastern two-thirds of the country. A few storms here and there, but most areas are quiet. Just a few high clouds passing uh, across Indiana this evening. As far as the weekend is concerned, here comes this front uh, by tomorrow. Still out in the Plain States. Maybe a stray shower west of the Mississippi River. Sunday morning, some storms approaching St. Louis, and then here that front moves uh, to our west with a line of storms west of us by late Sunday. We're in a marginal risk for severe storms. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that over the weekend. If we get anything, it'll be late Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. Highs in the 80s, maybe a 90 close by on Sunday. All right, so 60 tonight, uh, 85 tomorrow. Sunday's high, 89. It'll be a, kind of windy on Sunday with that storm chance late in the day. And then next week, in the lower 80s, all week. Long. Unbelievable weather for the last part of August there. Beautiful so, stretch. Might be the I nicest know. stretch of the year. Yeah, you know we're going to pay for that next January. <laughs> but we'll cross that bridge yeah. if and when we come yeah. there, right? Well, this man was smiling. Football night. It He's was. Right on cue, we got nice weather. <laughs> Gentlemen, I tell you, it was jaw droppingly nice. I was walking around just looking around. It can't get. You know, usually we're worried about heat in yeah. Texas. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh, this yeah. was like, I mean, it was awesome.